Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Dreams Unlimited Travel Podcast. My name is John Magi, and I'll be your host. And in this episode, we're going to welcome in 2018 with some news and information we think you can use for an upcoming vacation. I'm joined at the table by our panel of experts, Client Services Manager for Dreams Unlimited Travel, Kevin Close. Hi, everyone. Agent Consultant for Dreams Unlimited Travel, Tracy Heinrichs. Hi, everyone. And back in our production facility, we have our producer, Craig Williams. Hello. Well, thank you guys for being here. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I know. It's like a isn't... long time since we've been on the table. He says thank you for being here like we had choices. <laughs> right. I was just going to look at you and say, did you, were you asked? <laughs> <laughs> you were. I very politely asked you both to show up and then said you better. <laughs> um, yeah, we have been away for a while. I want to apologize for that. Um, for some reason, the last part of this year got nuts. Yeah. Um, we've had sickness. We've had personal family issues. We've had... Scheduled travel. Scheduled travel craziness, and we just and never got together to, to record a show. So it's the first one we're doing in 2018. So thank you, everybody, for watching and sticking with us. Uh, as I mentioned, 2018, we've got some news we think you guys can probably use and, and uh, help you with your upcoming travel plans. More sort of uh, little tidbits from all over rather than a specific topic or a specific destination. So we're going to get right into those. Um, And the first one that uh, I want to talk about and let you guys know about is a travel insurance update for Walt Disney Travel Company. Uh, Travel insurance will be temporarily unavailable for Walt Disney Travel Company packages for the Walt Disney World Resort, Disneyland Resort, and Alani. Uh, If you have an existing reservation, everything is fine. Don't worry about it. Your insurance is all good. Um, But for some reason, we have our speculation as to why Disney is not selling travel insurance for these destinations for the first month of the year so far. Right. It's it's kind of unusual. We haven't seen it before. Um, I think it's probably something to do with, I I wouldn't be surprised if you're looking into a different provider or something like that. So if you have an existing reservation, like John said, it has insurance on it, there's no change for you. Um, If you wanted to add insurance to your Disney World or Disneyland Alani package, you'll still be able to do that as long as you are outside of final payment. Once final payment's made, you can't add insurance anymore. But once they decide what the new product is and and roll that out again, we'll still be able to add those to packages. All right. Uh, This doesn't affect Disney Cruise Line or Adventures by Disney. They use a separate insurance company for those... uh, um, types of vacations. I think what we're going to see is we're going to see Disney move to one of those. I think so. Maybe yeah. it would kind of make sense if it was all the same. Start bundling What's them together. interesting though is their world product that what they were using was really unique. It's not like what they're doing at the other products. So it was a per charge a charge per adult. So it was seventy seven fifty per adult. Kids under eighteen were free in the same state in the same room. Um, it included um, air. That was even booked independently. Mm. So it was a really unique offering that they had. So I'll be interested to see when they change it, if it's as good as it was. Because ABD uses one that's 8% of the cost of your adventure. And that's the way Disney Cruise Line is as well. But it does cover air also. I get that question a lot. Disney Cruise Lines does not. Um, I wonder if TravelX, the insurance company they were using, is just not going to offer that particular plan anymore. Maybe. And Maybe they're they just, renegotiating. Yeah. Could be. ABD uses Aeon Affinity. I don't know what Cruise Line uses. There's too many of them. Um, you have other options, too, for insurance. Um, there's plenty of insurance companies out there for travel. We always recommend checking out insuremytrip.com, kind of a clearinghouse for insurance. You can get multiple quotes. We are not affiliated with insuremytrip.com. We don't get any money for it, but it's something worth looking into because you can compare prices across insurance companies, and you can also get insurance for non-Disney components, right? which is right. really nice. Yeah, so to- some- <clears throat> sorry, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Sometimes if um, somebody has multiple things going on, we'll recommend that. You know, go to Insure My Trip where you can right. kind of do the whole t- instead of spending. An insure- umbrella policy. Right. The other thing is, as John said, we have no um, aff- affiliation with Insure My Trip. We just think it's a great place. And you're not working then through a travel agency. You would purchase your travel insurance policy directly through the travel insurance company. Right. All right, moving on to our next one. There's going to be a new delivery method for 2018 Walt Disney Travel Company Magical Extras. 
<laughs> beginning January 1st, 2018, arrivals, a new process for magical extra card and voucher delivery. Instead of receiving a generic booklet, um, there's going to be a, these are going to be now included with your magic bands. Oh, and they're so excited. There's a picture on the, the Disney Travel Agents website of the box, <laughs> and there's a little spot for the card, and there's a little spot for the vouchers. They're very, right. they're very excited about this. So if you're expecting that separate package from Walt Disney Travel Company, that's just not going to happen. The other thing to note is um, if you are in, in a Canada or another country where you don't get the magic bands delivered to you, um, you'll pick up your pa- your magic bands when you arrive at the resort just like normal, and it would have then your voucher and everything in it that it would have come in the mail. I actually have a list of why you would not get Magic bands yeah. are these things in advance. <laughs> oh, please tell us. Uh, if you pre-engage on My Disney Experience 10 days or less prior to arrival, so you got to do it 10 days or more to get magic bands delivered. Uh, if you book five days or less prior to arrival, uh, if you do not do My Disney Experience at all, it won't happen. Uh, if you opt out of magic bands, you won't get them. So you won't get a box and you won't get the stuff in the box. And if you book a Walt Disney Travel Company package... Uh, Guess who book a Walt Disney Travel Company package at the Walt Disney World Swan, Dolphin, Four Seasons, Disney Springs Hotels, or Walt Disney World Good Neighbor Hotels. So these are reasons why you wouldn't get Magic Bands anyway delivered to you. So you're not going to get that Magical Extras card and you're not going to get those vouchers. Are they a big deal? Are these things that people go and say, I didn't get my Magical Extras card, I'm never going to travel to Disney again? I'm not sure. I've never heard it. I've never had a, a guest come back to me and say that. I don't know. How, it'd be interesting to know how many people actually use them. I can tell you for all of our trips, I don't know that we ever have. Um, and it just seems like they, it just wasn't something we ever did. So it'd be interesting to see if some people do use them. I mean, I would, I would, I would bet. I would and bet the nice thing do. now is they're going to come personalized. Right. Because they're going exactly. to be with the magic band. And they've made it simpler, I think, too. If you don't have, you don't have to have, years ago it was a booklet with all these different vouchers. So you had to have a voucher for this and mm-hmm. a voucher for that. So maybe if they've simplified it a little bit. And the Magic Lectures card, if you don't know what it is, it has discounts on it. So you go to the store that offers a discount and you present your card and you get money. Well, I bet over. people use those. Yeah, yeah I think the dis- the discounts for the stores are no Disney stores. Like I think they're... Disney Springs mostly. Right, Disney Springs kind of. I remember one used to be Basin all the time. <laughs> <laughs> mm, bath salts. Bath bombs. <laughs> bath bombogenesis. Oh, you were going to get that in, weren't I you? I was. I love that word. <laughs> all right, our next... Um, piece of information I want to share is Disney Cruise Line half deposit offer. Mm -hmm. Disney Cruise Line is offering uh, guests who book a new seven night or longer sailing uh, between now and February 15th, 2018. You will pay 50% of the usual cruise deposit amount. Um, And it doesn't include uh, important details. Taxes, fees, port expenses, gratuities, and port adventures are not included. Not valid on categories with restrictions, IGT, OGT, VGT. These are those guaranteed staterooms. Not available for suites or concierge-level staterooms. Valid on all seven-night or longer sailings that do not require final payment at time of booking. Rates in U.S. dollars cannot be combined with other offers. So this is nice if you're looking to plan a Disney Cruise Line vacation and you don't want to outlay the full deposit amount. Makes it a little bit easier. A deposit is normally twenty percent. On a seven night cruise, five thousand, you know, five thousand dollar cruise, that was a thousand. Now it's five hundred. So ten percent instead of twenty is nice. I also want to make sure I uh, clarify that this is for seven night or longer sailings departing June twenty third through June twenty fourth through May thirty first. <laughs> June 23rd, 2018 through May 31st, 2019. So summer to summer. So It's a good deal. Yeah, I agree. I think it's nice because it doesn't make that big of an outlay out of your pocket. So book your cruise as people. All right, moving on to something different. Royal Caribbean increasing daily gratuity prices on their cruises. Royal Caribbean has posted the following message on their website. As of January 2nd, 2018, our daily gratuity amounts will increase by $1 per guest per day. Guests who book before January 2nd can prepay gratuities before they're sailing at the current rate. Guests who choose to pay gratuities on board 
regardless of when they book, will be subject to the new rate. Uh, in the unlikely event that you do not like your service on board, you can always go to guest services and dispute the gratuity. Um, you can always add more to your gratuity. You can tell them you want to do less. You can also tell them you want to pay cash if you don't want to mm-hmm. add it to your daily account. Um, uh, so they have a nice little disclaimer about how this is now based on the industry standard and blah, blah, blah. Here's an interesting point, though. is the first price increase for daily gratuities for Royal Caribbean since 2016. So... And Disney's still $12 per person per night, and it's been like that for a while. Um, Celebrity also just increased theirs uh, to, uh, they added an extra dollar as well. So that's, and I think Norwegian was probably already around that, if not higher. These folks definitely deserve it. Mm-hmm. They work very hard for you. You should absolutely positively. And I don't know about you, but I would rather have that all just rolled in than to have to worry that's about it at the say. end. Yeah. I think it's easier. I don't know why cruise lines haven't done this model yet and said, listen, we're just going to, we'll increase our, your price by, I don't know what, on a, on a seven night cruise, 80 I, something dollars. Yeah, Disney's number sticks in my head. Disney's $84 on right. a seven night cruise. Per just charge person. me the extra $84 and let's right. do away now, with it. What this. they have started doing is automatically charging it to your stateroom account once you're on board. So if you haven't prepaid them once you get on board, it's automatically added to your stateroom account. So they've taken that step. But they just haven't taken it that one step further. I think that's more of a shock to people, though. I think people go, why am I getting this charge at the end of my cruise for gratuities? I I agree with Kevin. I think, why are you just saying, increase your price by this amount? By $84 a person. And then just put a note in your room that says, your gratuities have been paid. If you like this person and think they did Mm -hmm. went above and beyond, you can give them more. And I think most of us at the table probably do that, don't we? We usually give more. Yeah. Yeah. I'm often. Here's the deal. I have this rule. That if you apply my gratuity, like at the bar, I'm sorry, you're not getting anything more. I would have tipped you more. Right. I think that's true when we go to Disney and you use your um, Tables in Wonderland card. If you're going to apply that tip, you're going to choose what I tip, then that's what you get. If you allow me to do it, you almost 100% of the time would make out better. So. I think we we over tip. We also, we try to tip more for our stateroom attendant, Mm -hmm. especially if he's very good. We tend to give, he or she is very good. We tend to give them more for that. Because we do ask for certain things. You know, I ask them to do certain things during, even at the (laughs) beginning of the cruise. I like to come back to my room and have my ice bucket full. Right. I don't want to have to ask for that every day. So I say to them, keep the ice bucket full. But then their tip, their gratuity um, shows that we asked for extra things. When I get on board, I assume you've earned whatever that daily tip is. Mm -hmm. Because if you're going to pick up after me. You're going to bring me my dinner in the dining room and fill up my Diet Coke when I need it. You've earned it. So I. it doesn't even occur to me that, did they earn that much? Should I take it away? That's not even, doesn't even hit my radar. So you kind of start there with me. And then it's like, how much did you go above and beyond mm-hmm. to determine what extra you deserve? I don't even think of them going above and beyond. I think it's what did I do right. to make you work sure. harder. The other thing, too, is there was one cruise we've ever been on where we actually took someone's gratuity away. And it was the... Um, the dining room manager. Oh, that maitre d' guy? Yeah, yeah. the maitre d' <laughs> who we didn't see the entire cruise except for the last night. Right. Isn't it great? Isn't it wonderful? And then he kind cruise? of yelled at me. Be- it's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> a story for another time. So, yeah, I mean, I think for the most part they deserve it. I think you should give them more. But the nice part is you don't have to tip them <laughs> this amount if you don't want to tip them this amount. All right, moving on. Um, two new discounts were announced for Walt Disney World. Um, actually, very recently, we're very surprised that at this time of year, discounts have been released. For the summer. For the summer. But the fact that we're looking at what we consider the busiest time of the year, we call this the wave, that's a common industry term. We're so busy. For Disney to come back with discounts during this time frame was very unusual. They they did something like it last year where they started out the summer with this summer meal plan at the Values. Mm. So that's kind of – they did it last year. I don't know. But was else. it during January? Oh, when, yeah. Was it really? Oh, no, wow. it was actually – it wasn't January. It was December 28th. <laughs> we usually get hit with it between Christmas and New Year's, so we were expecting it. The last two years, oh it was December 28th. So we were expecting it, um, but I have to say – Discounts are getting harder and yeah. harder and harder to get. Yeah, um, there are so, seeing. it's so hard to get them. Like, 
we're like, for example, now I'm already finding availability issues for clients traveling in October. We have a friend staying with us. And he decided that he was going to spend a couple of nights at Disney this weekend and couldn't get a room. Yeah. Anywhere. Marathon weekend. Marathon weekend's nuts. But I mean, no rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me just read them. What we have is the summer meal vacation package offer. You can enjoy a free meal when you purchase a vacation package that includes a non-discounted five-night, six-day room and theme park ticket package at select Disney Value Resort hotels for arrivals May 29th through August 25th. And that has to be booked by February 11th, 2018. Uh, And again, agents are coming back with either not being able to find this or the savings they have already from a previous discount is better or the savings is really silly. Like, well, yeah. somebody save somebody fifty dollars or fifty eight. Yeah. So on this whatever. meal plan, save there was no savings because it was it's kind of a little bit like free dining where you're paying regular price and then you get this free meal. The problem was trying to find availability. So for example, I had one family who they could it wasn't available at the standard room, so we upgraded them or wasn't available at the preferred room. We upgraded them for pre- preferred pool. So it cost an extra $84, but for eight nights, three people are getting a free meal. Right. So they're getting 24 free quick service meals, you know, because everybody gets a free meal per per night of stay. So that, I mean, at Disney, you're going to use $84 worth of food pretty quick. Right. So those kinds of things were happening with that discount. The uh, There was another discount for the spring for room, which is probably the one you're going to mention next. Yep. Do you want me to just read it? Yeah, and then you sure. talk about Save up to 20% on rooms at select Walt Disney World Resort hotels for most nights through June 10th, 2018. Um, for some reason, they've split this into two promotions. The dates are contiguous, so I don't know why they did that. But it's February 18th through April 14th, and then uh, April 15th through June 10th. Uh, when you upgrade to a room and ticket package, that includes a minimum five-night theme park ticket. Um, you can get uh, more discounts by adding to the, you get one more day added to the ticket for free, which is a weird way of doing it. Um, big, big disclaimer on this. The offer is very limited. The rooms are very limited. Um, there's a whole list of what you can't book with this, the rooms you can't book with this. So again, very hard to get. So this is going to have the typical exclusions. Little Mermaid rooms are never included in a discount. Um, the villas at Bay Lake, Polynesian, Grand Floridian, almost never included in a discount. Sometimes at the Polynesian, but the bungalows are never included. So there's a lot of exclusions. The campsites are usually excluded. Um, so a lot, and th- except outside of those exclusions, and then you've got availability issues. And it's not all room types, for sure. Right. So, and at some resorts, it's only 10%. At others, it's 20 or 25%. So some of my clients staying at uh, deluxe resorts, uh, you know, some of them saved eleven, twelve hundred dollars So it was it was good for oh, them. Oh, that's good. But those were kind of few and far between, wow. um, I would think. I know one of our agents said out of 100 and some packages she checked she was able to get it for like 18 Mm -hmm. people so i mean it was extremely limited i found that once you got out of march um the availability was even somebody's buzzing once you got out of march availability was um better it was better yeah so like may june availability seems to be a little bit better Uh, i also tell you summer months right now availability is not too bad um, we have this o- this discount only for the value, so we're still expecting to see a room discount for the summer months. Um, but if it's anything like last summer, last summer was a little bit of a bust at World. I found that there was still, um, we were getting room availability pretty last minute. For July and August, that used to be kind of the, the peak travel time. Yeah. Seems to have changed a little bit, and now it's becoming fall. Like October is, has been a real challenge. So if you're looking for... Um, a deluxe resort especially but if you're looking for a deluxe resort especially one of the lower category rooms you need to book those now waiting for a discount those days are you know they're few and far between now so that's actually my the final point I wanted to make on this show was we I tried to tweet it out in December gotta book early guys you gotta book now yeah. You should have been booking in December if you wanted to travel in 2018. Things are just not available anymore. Right. I said, you know, find that budget that you can live with. Find the resort at the budget you can live with. Moderates are a little tricky right now. You have Riverside. 
um, which is in, which is fine. French Quarter almost is always is excluded from discounts because it's so small. Uh, Caribbean Beach is still a major construction zone, so I'd be we avoiding just drove that. We by yesterday. Yeah, and it's yeah. I would be avoiding that this year. Coronado is having some construction. My understanding is for most people who've stayed there, it's really not that. Up- you know, intrusive, but there is construction happening over at Coronado as well. So you're limited to what's available with moderates. And especially if you're a family of five, that brings you down to just the riverside. Um, So this is not the time to kind of sit back and think about it and wait. And maybe there's going to be, and I mean, if you are only going, if there is a discount, that's a different story. But if you're going anyway, but you're just waiting for that perfect price, find the resort that fits in that perfect price. The other thing is people wait because they think free dining is coming out in the fall. And if you can't find a hotel room in October, Disney's not going to give free dining. The dates are narrowing so much for free dining. It's to the point now where, you know, if the moon is over the third building at Pop Century on the second night of, you know, August, then maybe we'll give you free dining. It's it's just gotten ridiculous. Well, again, look at what they've done now. Last two years, right? Summer meal offer. The summer meal offer is just one quick service meal. Right. It's not even a you know. A and that's dining what they're plan. trying to sort of get you now, sort of shift people to those dates where there is availability, right. and not wait until you know they usually wait, which is September, for free dining. Yeah, you got to book early. You really do. This is not. We're not doing it because we we're trying to pressure you, but we hate to tell people there's no availability. We hate when we have to go to people and say, listen, there's. Um, you know, you have to go to a different resort right? because there's nothing yeah. there. You got to do it. There's less rooms in inventory. There's more people going. It's just nuts. Yeah, it, it's it's the craziest thing, right? Like Disney is not slowing down. It is getting busier and busier and busier. And it's a $200 deposit, which is refundable up until final payment, which is 30 days before. So even if something happens and you can't go. Now, typically, though, when you're putting down that deposit, especially when you're outside of six months, at six months, you're starting to book your dining, you're starting to make your plans. So by that time, you kind of want to know for sure this is happening. Um, But, you know, with a $200 refundable deposit, waiting usually is not in your best interest. I agree. Absolutely. All right, that's all I had. That's the list I brought to the table. Does anybody have anything they want to add for 2018? Any information you want to share? Um, maybe some things that we're doing. I know we've got some trips planned, um, f- uh, sort of dreams, Diz stuff planned. Unfortunately, I think those are all sold out. There's still availability on our March 24th Viking Italy sojourn trip. However, avail uh, your choice of staterooms, your choice of level is very, very limited. Most are selling out. If you're interested in going, Kevin at Dreams Unlimited Travel, we rate this point at this point we have a hundred and three people going. It's gonna be a nice And those trip. people are all paid in full. So if they're not going, they're losing a lot of they're money. They're losing money. We do have an event uh Backstage Magic Adventures by Disney uh, this year, but that is sold out. Adventures by Disney will release 2019 dates in May. There is some confusion because some of the 2018 dates have wraparound dates that come into January and February of 2018. Those were considered 2007 or 2017 dates that wrapped into 2018. When they released 2018 last May, there are wraparound dates for next year that go into January and February, but those are not considered new releases. Right. Those are considered 2018 release dates. When do we expect the new releases to come out? May. May. What and about that is as close as I can <laughs> yeah. get exactly. Chances are while you're on vacation what, somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> if I leave the house, they'll release yeah. them. Uh, what about cruises? I know we've got Good. first part of 2019 already. We do. So when do we expect the rest um, of 2019? I would think... I'm just going off the top of my head and trying to remember, but I would think February-ish, we will see summer of 19. Okay. And it will be May, usually the same day that ABD releases. (laughs) Right. Um, We'll see the back end of 2019 in May. So I believe with Disney, there's going to be two more releases. If they go on the same pattern they have for the last couple of years, there'll be two more releases for the rest of 19. And when do we expect 2019 Walt Disney World? Packages again. If they stay true to form, June, maybe you know, June, July kind of thing is when we see them. Um, it used to be August, but they've backed it up a bit. I think because of the six month booking window. But June, July, we'll probably start to see nineteen packages. Awesome. So when will we see two thousand twenty one packages? Oh please! <laughs> oh, we are already getting email requests. Yes. Um, about the Star Wars Hotel. 
I want to be on the wait. There's, there's, we don't oh know things. Yeah. We don't know anything about that, where it's going to be and when it's going to open. We can't. I do have already people who have asked to be on a wait list for the new Disney ships in 2021. And I will, before you go into what you were going to talk about, let me just real quick say uh, if you go to our website and you go to the homepage, dreamsunlimitedtravel.com, there's um, a link. Or send us an email if you want a future booking, something that's not available, like 2019 packages or Star Wars hotels or new cruise line. And what we're doing is we're giving those to agents who will keep separate lists Mm -hmm. for when they're available. So we're trying to be proactive and help you out with going in the future for future bookings. So send us an email and we'll make sure that gets to somebody. Star Wars 2019, Craig? Yeah, right? Um, If you want to go to Disney World in 2019... You better be booking it as soon as in 2018 out. when they're released. Yeah. And that hotel. I mean be that. Out. Yeah, and the, I mean I think it's going to be a couple years after that before we see the actual Star Wars hotel. Like I think that's going to be like kind of maybe phase two of Star Wars. But with Star Wars opening in 19, I mean this summer we have Toy Story Land opening. Yep. Um, I think if you want to go to Disney in 2019, you better be planning for it mid 2018. And if you're planning on going in. October of 2021 for the 50th anniversary, I would get on a wait list. Well, hopefully everything will be done by then, all of the changes oh, yeah. and improvements. That's you the know. one I keep seeing. Yeah. When, when can I book 2021? For the 50th, so. June of 2020. I, and that's never, <laughs> that's never the happy answer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> However, we also I get a lot of questions from folks. Well, I want to make sure that I'm one of the first ones who can book. Yep. How do I get alerted? We are keeping those lists. Agents are keeping those lists. So we're trying to be a little proactive um, for you. So that'll do it. For our first show of 2018, we wanted to make sure you had some information that could help you plan a future vacation, some things we thought or I thought were important for you to know. Um, that'll do it. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Thank you guys here for participating uh, and for helping us schedule something in the craziness that is our lives. (laughs) I certainly appreciate that. Again, thank you everybody at home for listening and watching. We hope you have a great week and we hope you have a great vacation.